This video will be for the oxide slab. First, we need to measure some magnesium. We're using a crucible and lid today because crucibles can take high heat without warping or exploding. We're gonna measure this magnesium in the crucible and write down the mass. So our magnesium inside of our crucible measure is 11.91 grams. Also, did you notice that there's a lot of markings in the crucible? That's from previous times when it was used. Those burnt marks are permanent part of the crucible now. Now we're gonna heat the magnesium in order to create a reaction. So here we have a clay triangle and it's on top of a ring for support and we have that all set up over top of our Bunsen burner. We don't want the Bunsen burner to be very far away because we want strong heating. So our crucible sits right there inside of our clay triangle. We're going to put this lid on for protection. Magnesium can uh, actually damage your eyes while it's heating, but we don't want to put it all the way on because we need oxygen to be able to enter the crucible. Remember how to light a Bunsen burner. First light your match, then turn your propane on. Now we're going to heat this magnesium ribbon for about five minutes. Now right now, this crucible is so hot that it would sear the skin right off of you if you tried to touch it. And if we put it on the table, the tables in the lab are pretty cool all the time. If you put it on the table due to heat shock, the crucible would probably explode or crack. So we're not gonna do anything. We're gonna turn the gas off and we're going to let this cool in place for at least 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes. Then we'll weigh it and examine it. Right now I'm heating a piece of copper. You might notice some green flame popping up. That's because green is a signature flame color of copper. It tells you copper's in there somewhere. Notice how it's glowing. That tells you how hot it is. I think we're done. That looks pretty burnt. Now we're gonna compare this to the unheated copper and look at the differences in the properties. Here's our copper before heating. Let's look at the properties. It's a metallic orange. It's obviously been made into a wire. It's very flexible, malleable, ductile, and it's shiny. Let's look at the properties after heating. I've put our piece of copper in this evaporating dish. It's black instead of metallic orange. It's brittle. See the pieces coming off? And it's no longer shiny, it's now dull. So we've transformed this copper. Let's see how. 
copper oxide. Well, would you look at that? It's black, it's dull, and obviously it's brittle because it's a powder. Here's another example. This is calcium metal. You can see it has some shiny bits in there. It is very hard and it's silver. Now let's look at a calcium compound, calcium oxide. It's brittle. It's no longer hard. It's very powdery and it's white. These tongs are made of iron. It's an iron alloy. They're silver shiny. Here are some tongs that have rusted. See how they're different? They're an orangish color and the rust is powdery, comes off on your finger. Now here's an iron compound, iron three oxide. Look what color that is. It's orangish color, brittle, powdery. Now let's see what's inside of our crucible. First we carefully remove the lid. And now we take a look at what's inside. So, notice that, first of all, the color is very different. Your magnesium was silver and shiny. Now it's white and it's brittle. We can prove it's brittle. Look at that. Breaks right apart. And it's dull, it's no longer shiny. So this magnesium has transformed. Let's see what the mass is. Go into the balance. Tearing it to make sure it's on zero. Carefully putting this crucible here. By the way, I'm not handling this crucible with my fingers because I don't want the oils from my fingers to affect the mass. And there you see the final mass, 11.95. So our mass increased. What in the world could have caused our mass to increase? Here's a clue. Here's a compound, magnesium oxide. And here's what it looks like. Pure white, powdery, dull. Here's the view from the laboratory this morning. Hope you guys are having a great day.